Yay! Foot! Knockout! Pizza cake! I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm trained for this. I'm trained for this. Yeah, we're playing some punch out. Hi everybody. Um, playing some punch out today. For anyone who's not played this, um, it's kind of like a beat 'em up, but um, it's you kind of there's telltale signs, and the computer always follows the same sort of patterns. So once you know the patterns, um, you can get through it quite easily. It's not like Street Fighter where the AI seems to mix it up every so often. There's a little bit of variation, but they follow a pattern uh, pretty much every time that has these visual cues or, or um, sound cues that it, once you learn and you know what button to press, you'll cream your opponent every time. So I'm um, going to see if I can remember how to do this. What I'll do for this is I'll. Um, before the match begins, I'll kind of tell you what I'm looking for, um, and maybe a few tips about that um, particular boxer. So if you've got this, if you've got Switch Online, or maybe you've got a SNES Mini, uh, Super Nintendo Mini, or um, maybe you've just got Super Punch Out hanging about the place and you've never actually played it, um, play along. See if you can finally win those belts and. Uh, see how addictive these games can be. Um, I'll sort of give you, like I say, things to look out for. Uh, I'll demo the fight myself and see if um, I can uh, show you how to beat these opponents and become the champ. Because, you know, who doesn't want to be the champ? Starting off with the minor circuit. Gabby J. So, this guy has only ever had one win and it was against another punch out mainstay from the original called Glass Joe um, let me win I've lost so many times I forgot how winning feels Gabby J do you need a strategy for Gabby J probably not you just pummel him really he um, doesn't really do much doesn't really do much at all so uh, but anyway it'll give me an opportunity to sort of show you what the buttons are for the newcomers and things like that so let's go to the ring Hey Gabby, how you doing? Yay. Let's punch that moustache off your punch. face. Right, so if you hold up and press the Y or B buttons, you'll go for the head. Y or B buttons to the body will um, literally just press those buttons on their own without pressing up. And you kind of want to aim where they're not holding their um, their gloves. So if the you know Gabby's doing this, so he's guard will change but they either guard up or they guard down if you punch where their gloves are not you tend to land the hit along with that oh come on Gabby no not today Gabby not today so yeah along with that they've got uh, fighters have their own trademark moves have you just seen there oh Gabby tries he tries he's uh He's a contender in some reality. Bless him. Uh, yeah, so you, um, along with that, you've also got um, A, which is your power punch. If you press A on its own, it can be um, a big haymaker punch to the body. If you press up and A, it's a massive power punch to the to the face. Anyone plays Smash Brothers, that's where that bar be builds up. You build up the bar by uh, landing punches. Um, and uh, once the bar is filled you can ex execute those. You've also got rapid fire punches in this one um, which I kind of miss from the other punch out games which if you double press the A button um, Little Mac will do several left and right punches in consecutive motion um, until he's either blocked, missed or the opponent goes down. So um, that's the, the general jits of that. Punch out rules are basically if you go down three times you're, it's a technical knockout 
Um, that's either you or your opponent, or if you knock them down, they've got the 10 count to get up. The faster you knock someone down, um, with, you know, by stunning them or whatever the case may be, the more, more likely they are they're not going to get up. Um, and uh, sometimes there's like tricks to knocking them down so that you can ensure they don't get up, which we'll see later. Bear hugger. Okay, now we're getting into a bit more uh, strategy for him. So bear hugger is a big old bloke from Canada. Um, watch out, I'm a killer. I'm a bear hugger, as he says. Basically, with bear hugger, you can't punch him in the midsection. So if you haven't you haven't noticed the hold up to punch to the face, you ain't getting past bear hugger. However, when you go to the face, he'll block and he'll come down with like a double punch to the face, um, which is where you learn to duck by pressing down. So the trick to bear hugger here is to go for the face, avoid the midsection, press down to duck his double punch, and then just unload um, with punches to the face. Um, if you keep to that, you shouldn't have too much of a problem. He doesn't really have too many trademark moves or anything. I said he's a big bloke. So yeah, go for the... F oh, okay. I did not press right, but apparently I did. There you go, so... Just rinse and repeat, and then land your power punch when you can, and then if you get those in, even better. So now we'll go for a punches. And that's the other part of punch out. So as they go for a punch, they norm they have a few frames of animation where they actually show um that should be it for Bear Hugger. They go there's a few frames of animation where they go for a punch. If you land if they're going for a left and you come up and hit them on the same side with a right or vice versa. Uh, but you'll stun them, you'll hit them, you'll see them sort of go um, and you can land more punches. So when Bear Hugger finally decides to attack, you can um, hit them to the hit them to the left or the right of the face to do that. Um, so yeah, another couple of tips. If you do go down, um, you can press the buttons rapidly to get your life back um, to sort of get off the ground faster. Um, also, if they go down, you don't don't just watch them. You can press buttons as well to get your life back during that time. Um, and also, if you hammer the X button, um, little Mac's face at the top will start to flash, which means you get more power in your punches. Um, so, a couple of tips there as well. Thanks for coming, Bear Hugger. Piston Hurricane, can you ride out the storm or be caught in my hurricane rush? So. Piston Hurricane is a bit more of a kind of a dodger. He, 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 he sw sways through your punches, um, but his real threat is his Hurricane Rush. Um, again, the game's teaching you different parts of uh, its mechanics as you play. Um, he has uh, he'll he'll sway to the back of the ring and then charge in with um, a flurry of high and medium um, punches to the head and body. Um, and you have to block six consecutively and then dodge an uppercut, otherwise he won't stop, he'll keep going. So um, to block the mid section you don't press anything, to block to the head you just press up. So if he does go for that, um, you just have to, uh, first of all we'll, we'll go for your head, so you hold up. Once you hear that kind of click of the gloves touching, let go and then you'll block to the body. Um, apart from that, he tend, if I re remember correctly, his punches do go in, in a pattern, and he has a massive wind up before he lands his punch. So watch his punches carefully, hit the corresponding sides, um, and you know what? I'm gonna sh shut up and I'll just show you. I'll just show you. Looks a bit like Apollo Creed, this guy. So there you go. There's a big old wind up before he hits. Just give it a slight second. There you go. And as he gets stunned and comes back, you can wind up a punch. If you hit it just right, chances are it will go down. He'll always start with an uppercut in between rounds. Not really Apollo Creed. I suppose. 
<laughs> Pollock Creek didn't get, ever go down. The, well, I suppose there's that one time we went up against the Russian. So yeah, when he starts uh, a new round, he'll always go for an uppercut. So um, hit with a, a low right, and then uh, punish him from recording to that. Didn't get chances to show the hurricane rush there. Um, sorry, but yeah, it just it just takes some practice. Hold up, block high, let go, hold up, and then once after that, you'll stop, crouch down, and go for an uppercut. Just dodge to the side, and then uh, punish him. Later on, you'll see another. Um, another fighter that has a, a very similar move um, so and he you know chances are he will do that because very r rarely he doesn't pull that off in the match okay bald bull the champion of the minor circuit I want your belt I want it sorry um, you'll be down for the count with one punch from my ball charge which is true um, he'll charge to the back and then run at you and hit tries to land this massively powerful uppercut if he lands it you're you're down no matter how much life you got it's a one hit KO you'll be down um, and you'll have to get back up off the ground um, but there's a trick to it if um, you actually hit him before the uppercut as he's charging towards you his momentum uh, and your punch will actually uh, one it KO when it hit KO him so uh, if you've got the guts to sort of stand your ground, you can actually turn it against him. If not, just dodge to the side. Um, it, it's pretty easy to dodge. Uh, just there, there's also like a mini version of it as well, where he he doesn't run quite to the back just to throw you off. It's normally like three charges to the front, but sometimes he doesn't got quite go to, to the ropes, and he does two charges just to throw you off. So watch out for that. Um, Bald Bull is one of the first boxers who actually starts. Um, having combinations to his punches and and um, follows a lot of a very straight you know structured routine to his uh, punches. So, but he he's mainly about this this one hit KO punch that you have to master. Been quite a few punch out games, Bull Bull. So there you go, there's a... Oh, stunned already? Ah, oh, there we go. So yeah, he, he'll... Um, again, a lot of the minor circuit boxes have a big wind-up before they land any of their punches, so... Um, you can see, so there's, there's the dodging out of the way, look, and you can just... Once you dodge and counter-punch like that, um, you'll get a good four or five punches in before... Um, before uh, they, they come back. So this is bull charge. And there you go. Just land the punch just before he goes for his uppercut when he's close enough and he goes down when it KO. There you go, minor circuit. Not too bad, not too bad. Anyone can do that, right? Once you know how. Um, yeah, I mean, he's got bull ball's got a couple of other things to look out for, but essentially, if you can cream the other three, um, it's just that bull charge you have to watch out for, and even if he lands it, you know, you you generally have um, plenty of time to get back up. Um, just obviously, when you go down twice, if he hits you with that third time, you you will be out. Um, so watch out for that. But yeah, he's a he's a one trick pony, old bull bull. Yes, give me the belts. I I always thought the belts in this game look really cool as well. Um, better than WWE's belts at the moment. But having a cobra on your belt, I mean that's pretty cool. Even I know, minor circuit, but geez, man. Um, WVBA minor circuit champion. Cool. He hunts on the major circuit. Starting with Bob Charlie. So Bob is... Um, he's going to try and do dodge your punches and um, make you dodge unnecessarily. So um, people who can't feel the rhythm are lost. Do you have the rhythm? 
he's gonna try and feint a punch and then afterwards um, sort of I don't know if he gulps or kind of does a bit of a, a jock and then hits you with something else he wants you to sort of move out of the way and then when you come back, you're kind of stunned for a little bit when you try to dodge constantly. And he'll hit you when you come back. So the trick with Bob Charlie is to sort of take a breath, just watch him carefully, um, and sort of hit him um, once he has definitely gone for a punch. Sort of turn his strategy against him, really. Um, he has got a twisting punch from the back of the ring, uh, similar to Bald Bull. It's not a one-hit KO. Um, but if you hit him before he lands the uppercut again, it is a one-hit KO to him. So you can use that strategy here as well. Um, in the second round is where he starts doing a lot of his jucking and jiving. Um, his ring assistant, his, his coach, will uh, yell out for him to do that. Um, again, just, just watch his movements. When he goes for a punch, go for a dodge. Um, but really, you want to try and hit him when he's winding up the punch so it doesn't really matter if he's he, he's gonna hit or not because you'll land your punch and knock him out of that sequence so let's go let's see what Bob's got <laughs> Hit him when he goes for the punch. Really doesn't like that. Um, hit, you know, land the jab. So there's your jacking and jiving. Yeah, land a jab. Go for a punch. Really doesn't sort of like. Oh, he's a spinning punch. Didn't actually do it there. So sometimes he does that rather than the spin punch. I don't know why. Maybe just too lazy to land his punch. Um, so he's like quite a you know chill out kind of guy. Um, but yeah, you can take advantage of that as he's coming back. You can just land a jab as he's stepping back towards the center of the ring, and it'll go down like the ball ball does. Um, a little bit more tricky than anyone in the minor circuit, but still possible just to uh, use the same tactics you already know to sort of finish him off. Um, just wants you to sort of, it's kind of, I suppose maybe there's a lot of caricature, caricatures in Punch Out. I suppose they just want you to chill out a bit so you're not just hammering the buttons like you may have done to get this far with the other fighters. Dragon Chan you will find yourself face down when you wake up. So, I don't know if you know this from just watching this game so far, but Punch-Out's not really a realistic punching or boxing game, yeah? Um, I know, shocker, right? Um, but Dragon Chan is the first boxer in the game who really um, bends the rules, and I don't know what this referee's doing. He don't care. Uh, there's no no rules at all in this, in this rig. But he actually kicks as well as punches. And I remember me and my friend Matthew, um, he's probably the one of the first fighters that we really got stuck against when we first got this game as kids. Um, because he goes for these martial art kicks. Um, and there's one where he'll leap onto the ropes and sort of dodge through the air. And if he lands that, then, you know, it's a knockout. Um, well, you go down for the 10 count to try and get up. But yeah, he's um, as he as he's going for those. There's a lot of sort of um, he's very much like Dragon Dragon Ball Z. He'll he'll announce his moves before he lands them. And even though you can't necessarily read what his uh, coach is saying, because it's in a different language, um, it's in Japanese. Um, you can still know something's coming, and Dragon Chan will sort of charge up. To let you know so he'll leap onto the ring ropes as his big one as he flies through the air just press down to duck if he goes for the kick do duck every time he jumps from rope to rope because he might 
go for the kick straight away, or he might leap to the other side and sort of wait a bit. So just, just to be sure, just duck every time. Another one he has is uh, martial arts kicks to the left or right. Just watch him. Um, sometimes he'll go to the left, sometimes go to the right. Leap up and then go for a kick. Just move to the opposite side. Don't move to the same side as he he's at, because otherwise you'll get hit. Um, they can be quite nasty and knock you out, um, or knock you off your, your feet only with a few hits. So be mindful of that. Um, he also has this other thing uh, where he walks back before he lands a punch. So in the beginning round, you'll see he'll walk back so you couldn't land any punches unless you go for the same side he's walking to. So if he's walking off to this direction, you have to make sure you go for the punch on that same direction. And if you land it just before he goes to wind up to throw his punch, um, then you'll get those stun hits. So again, the game is trying to say, slow it down. It's not about pressing buttons really quickly. Um, you need to press them at the right time to get the best effect. So he'll take a few steps back and then go for the punch. As he's coming in for the punch, that's when you want to hit him. Um, what else has he got? Uh, I think that's a bit about it really from Dragon Chan. Obviously a mix of Bruce Lee and Jackie Chan. Um, I, I do wish you could play as this guy. Uh, that, that was one thing that we wish we had um, in when we were playing Punch Out is that we wish we could play as the other boxers, not just Little Mac. Okay. There you go. He goes steps back. That's where you go for your punches. If you land it too quickly, you won't get that stun punch. But there we go. Don't give him a chance to go for the kicks if you can avoid it. There, here's the kicks. So as you see, he clearly goes to either side. Um, and if he lands on the left hand side, double press the A button to go for the rapid punches. That should be it for Dragon Chan really. Yeah, there we go. He does not like getting punched when he's going for his uh, martial arts poses. So the only thing you didn't see there is him leaping from rope to rope. Uh, as I said, as he goes for that, just press down every time he switches sides. And then if he does go for uh, a kick, when you come back up, that's when you can go in for your punches to stun him. He's quite stunned after that big kick. Um, so once you learn the mechanics of the game, he's uh, quite straightforward, Dragon Chan. Cool. Mass Muscle, you should give up now, senor. So, um, going back to what I was saying about people, you know, taking advantage of the rules of boxing, um, the science of boxing, he, uh, if I remember correctly, Mass Muscle in the instruction booklet says that he was banned from wrestling for being uh, too violent and too dirty in the ring. Um, he brings some of those tactics over to, uh, to the punch-out ring. Well, they clearly don't have any rules or any concern for the uh, the boxers in the ring at any one time. Um, Bald ball, sorry, mass muscle. Will he'll he'll his main thing is he tries to spit in your face. Yep, I know, nice guy. Um, if he goes for that and he hits it, you'll be stunned. You can't see your visions all blurry, and then he'll go for loads of punches and attacks. Um, you can't punch back. You just have to dodge. Um, but really. His, his, he only does it when his corner man yells out for it. So you have plenty of warning. He'll he'll lean back and before he goes for it, if you just press down as he's going for it, he leaves himself wide open for you to go for punches afterwards. If you get the chance and you've got the bar, when you come back up, just hit that rapid punch uh, button, double tap and the A button, um, and he'll he'll drop like a sack of, sack of potatoes. Um, he's also um, He's also got some other combination moves. Uh, again, he follows a very strict combo, but what the one to watch out for that you um, you can't counter, like I've been trying to say you should, um, is his headbutt. He'll he'll do go for a few punches and then lean right back and then go for a headbutt. It's a double hit. Um, I don't know how a headbutt's a headbutt. I don't know how you can get a combo from a headbutt, but it is. Goes, he hits you in the face and then hits you in the chest, I suppose. Uh, don't know. 
But um, it's very devastating. Again, you want to move to the left and then go for a body punch once you're clear of the attack. So, here we go, Mask Muscle. So yeah, he, again, don't like getting interrupted in his punches or attacks. When you see him go for that, when he, he gets stunned, it, when he, as soon as he drops to one knee, and there's your spit, filthy animal. As soon as he drops, that one knee hits the, the canvas, that's when you want to go for your power punch midsection, and that should be it for Mask Muscle. Um, yeah, there we go. As soon as he lands on that, um, wind up your power punch and that generally is a one hit KO um, didn't see the head but like I said just move to the left or right if he goes for that That's that spit is the big one if you press down when he goes for the spit and hit the rapid punches afterwards he always gets stunned and then if you ch just time that power punch as he drops to one knee he, he'll, he'll go down so mass muscle on to the champion Another great character, Mr. Sandman. Had your goodnight kiss, because I'm about to put you down for the night. Um, Mr. Sandman uh, beat me last time I went up against him. Um, you can see that on one of the episodes when I was on the One, My one Life Left show. Um, it's very difficult to play this game and talk at the same time, because you, you've got to listen to those visual cues and those audio cues, and if you're talking, you might miss them. Uh, it's all about timing. Um, plus, I, I swear there's a delay on the SNES Mini, um, which I'm a bit shocked about, like a delay between the controller and when you press buttons, but you know, maybe I'm just making excuses at the moment. So, Mr. Sandman. He is um, one of the first real fighters that have combinations. Um, and what I mean is that he'll, he'll follow a strict uh, fight punch combination after a taunt. Um, especially in the last round so for whatever reason his trainer always tells him not to go all out until the final round um, so he has got loads of heavy punches some you can't even block um, so it's all about sort of dodging or knowing when to hit him to sort of do your counter punches but on the last round he triples up all of his attacks so we he'll, you'll see him shuffle his feet and then go for an uppercut in the earlier rounds on the last round, he'll shuffle his feet and go for three consecutive uppercuts, and they're devastating if you get hit by him. Um, it's all about really sort of moving out of the way, watching him, uh, and counter punching. Uh, but I don't know why his trainer wants him to wait until the last round. If he fought like that from the beginning, he'd be the world champion, not just a major circuit champion. But I guess that's why in the later uh, punch out games, maybe he just dumps his coach because he's an idiot. Um, and he does actually become the champion, um, but yeah, he's uh, he's a uh, he's another quality one. He has his win and loss record is pretty impressive as well. I just noticed that. So you're looking for his uh, opening. His punches a little bit faster than the others. Oh, he's just been stunned. Ow, so I missed his little shuffle there, so he actually hit. Oh. Sandman, every time, man. Let me talk to the people. It's like, no, concentrate on me. You're in the ring with a champ, damn it. So this is a. You can't block that punch. Yeah, so that, that he does this, he does this left, left, and then right. And you can't actually block the right hit. Um, you have to duck that. So he, this is when he goes a bit crazy. There we go. So yeah, his his trainer tells him to go all out. It's the final round. Um, he'll triple up all of his attacks. Um, and he gets a lot more vicious with his punches. And as you saw there, I had a full charged 
I don't know what you call that, flash engage. Um, so my gloves start glowing, so I do more power, they're faster punches. They can throw your timing off, so be careful of that. So when they do flash, you, your punches went from the button press to when they land is a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, just watch out for that. But if you do rap, land those rapid punches or hard pits, they do a lot more damage. So um, that's it. Mr. Sandman is down. And your new WVBA Major Circuit Champion. Right here. Bam. Again, another... That's, I suppose just a bit more reminiscent of the WWE uh, Winged Eagle belt. Um, winged Eagle belt? All eagles are winged. But, yeah, yeah, the, the, the gold, the gold eagle belt. That's the one. I know what I mean. Um, that's it for that. So that's round one of Super Punch-Out. We're only halfway through. Much tougher opponents are in the way to becoming the champ. I will do another character select to cover the end of the game at some point, but hopefully this was useful to get you into the game and you'll take the time to play Punch-Out. Like I said, if you have a Super Nintendo Mini or Switch Online, it's on there, then it's a lot of fun. Feels really good to play when you get good at it. But being the champ takes training and practice, so you better stick with it. If you want to see more from me, click the video on the continue screen coming up. But for now, this was Bill from Pop Culture Pause Screen, and I'll see you next time. Layers.